What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. One story, two questions, let's go. And it's a big story. It has to do with the Galaxy S23 Ultra phone. It has passed through some regulatory hands over in China and it details some things that are missing that we thought were in there and some things that are a little bit disappointing as well. And I think it's par for the course at this point where when a Samsung phone gets released, there's going to be some hyped up things and some disappointing things and some things that we thought were in there and some things that are missing or added at later dates. So without further ado, let's talk about this. So this information, like I said, is coming through China and the regulatory agencies over there. But basically what's happening is what we're seeing are some specs. Galaxy S23 Ultra, what we heard, will have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor that still remains to be true. It's supposed to be overclocked, but I guess, I guess as of right now, potentially not showing that but don't take that as it won't be overclocked um, we're seeing storage sizes of 256 512 and one terabyte as well as 8 and 12 gigs of ram now let's talk about those storage sizes real quick uh, 256 is a bump over the traditional 128 gigs of storage and then 8 gigs of RAM, I thought that'd be completely removed, but it looks like they're sticking with that with the lower model. And then the other, the 512 and the one terabyte will probably have 12 gigs of RAM on that S23 Ultra. Camera specs were not included for whatever reason, but the dimensions of the phone are right there. You can see the numbers 163.4 by 78.1 by 8.9 millimeters. The battery inside is saying that it's 4855 milliamps, which is identical to the S22 Ultra, which will be marketed as a 5000 milliamp battery to continue on with it one of the things missing from here was satellite support now it's not in the iphone either over in china so it doesn't mean it's not going to be included in the rest of the world it just means that china is not getting the satellite connectivity built into the phone where if you're you know somewhere and you're lost and you're worried about you know getting back to where you were having help because you're injured or something it doesn't mean that won't be included in the phone that you get it just means in the china version it's not um, so i think the big takeaways are is that it seems like there's still going to be an eight gigabyte model of ram on the phone uh, the other part of it is potentially because we've heard that the satellite um, support would be built into the phone especially in america and other countries probably as well but in china it's not um, but yeah a little bit of, i'm pretty disappointed in the eight gigabytes of ram i think that's kind of it's kind of lame, I think, especially with the, high, the highest end phone that they put out. But that'll be your question today. What do you think about that? How does that make you feel? Without further ado, let's jump into the Q&A portion right now. I got a bunch of questions, first of all. So if I didn't answer your question, just ask it again tomorrow if you really want to have it answered. But there was a bunch of questions and I only choose two every day. I don't want to get overwhelmed here. <laughs> uh, Camo King with the S23 base storage starting at 256, is it likely that there's going to be a bit of a price increase to go along with that? Well, we've heard there's going to be a price increase, probably $100 across the board, but we will wait and see because we heard last year, I believe there's going to be a price increase as well. It never happened. So I would guess it's probably going to be a price increase due to uh, materials being scarce kind of still not as bad as they once were but you know all that stuff's catching up so we don't know yet but i'm going to say there's probably going to be a hundred dollar price increase and the last question from jerome gold s23 sounds like a beast would you like to see samsung make the s24 ultra or the fold 5 display with a 4k screen definitely the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 5 because of the reason it just has a much bigger display. So why not take advantage of that and make that one of the big selling points to give it a 4K screen, maybe make it on the pro version of the Fold 5 if they come out with something like that. But on a, a smaller phone, it's, it's really difficult to tell a difference. I, you know, even 1080p, sometimes you look at it and you're like, you can't even tell the difference on a smaller type phone such as a, a Z, uh, an S23 Ultra or something like that. So I'd say definitely put it in the Fold 5. Thank you for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the hashtag question and we'll see you down the road. Peace.